This is Coogan Cassis Rifle TV in association with Mac the Knife Global. We're in a hole here at the Ice Arena. We're joined by William Warburton. How are you, sir? Sounds great. Well, good night for you. Good night, yeah. uh, a great win over Conor yeah. Seymour. I didn't expect that. I, didn't expect, I just oh, nice, nice see the shots catching with jab. Yeah, I just saw his hand dipping, so went for that backhand. It just, it just dropped him. I mean, listen, I don't know how many fights you must have nearly 150 fights. Yeah, 139, I think. Now. 139, you're counting. You're counting. But um, I mean, your record really doesn't suggest you know, what kind of test you are uh, in the ring. And obviously, tonight was evident of that. It's only when they get in there, that's when they, freak, when they find out. But he was nervous to start off with that. When he got in the ring, he just seemed a bit, a bit shaky, a bit like he was a bit anxious. So. That's where it starts, really. If you, if you like that before you fight, then obviously it means a bad thing when you, when you start fighting. Nearly 140 fights. I mean, it's, it's incredible. I mean, how long is the William Warburton story going to go on for? Say how long ago. Long well, you want to hit the 200? Yeah, as long as I'm still talking straight. I'm all right, carry on after that then. <laughs> it's a lot of fights, though, isn't it? It's still obviously going. When did you first turn pro? I think it was 2009. My first, first fight in uh, April 2009. It wasn't that long ago then, what, eight years ago? Eight years. It's not, not bad really, long run. What keeps you motivated, what keeps you going to... It's the thrill you get in there and you've got people calling, you're booing, you calling you all sorts and... It just gives you that buzz, yeah, I've got it, I'm going and doing it. Then afterwards it's like, you shake each other's hands, they're all like cheering you and... It's just that good, that feeling you get afterwards as well. But I mean the feeling of coming here uh, to the hometown favourite yeah. and obviously getting the win on the road, it's, it must be a great feeling to come away with. It is great, but just it's one end. You start winning, you start getting no fights, no one box you. So. It's a good point actually, yeah. People start seeing you as a little bit more of a threat and yeah, yeah and thinking, hang on a minute, should we really take this fight with William Warburton? Yeah. No, we'll swerve him. Yeah, we'll leave him. It's going to be easier. It's happened a lot, I've had fun. Phone ring and they've said, oh, I don't want him to uh, too hard, it's me, he's a bigger foreigner over or something. And it's no good for boxing really, I think when you protect people like that, once they come up against somebody better, it's the end of trouble because they get up and it's just no good for them. Well, listen, it's definitely your night tonight, so congratulations. When are you out next? Uh, I'm not sure when phone rings, but that's if it rings now. <laughs> All right, listen, William, thank you very much for talking to Eiffel TV and uh, hopefully we'll catch up with you soon, mate, all right? No problem. Thank you, mate. Thank you.